action. Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I'm doing a different kind of video and I will never do this kind of video ever again. <laughs> it's just like crazy. Um, but I just thought I'd do a like, um, like my everyday makeup, like my quick, quick down and dirty <laughs> um, makeup, what I usually just throw on my face to go out the door. I don't know why. I'm doing this video, but I just thought I'd do it. Um, I hope you like it. <laughs> um, if you don't, that's totally fine too. Um, I'm not doing it to say that, hey, this is how you should do your makeup because this is definitely not how anybody does their makeup. Just me. Anyways, um, but basically my morning goes like this. The alarm rings at 5.30 in the morning and I'm like, oh, I shut it off because I know I have another alarm ringing at 5.45. So 5.45, the other alarm goes off, and I'm like, oh, I might hit snooze. Um, but at 10.2, the lights go on because I have a lot of timer. It's like, get out of bed. So usually I don't get out of bed. I might get out of bed. I might grab the phone, which is my alarm, and I might sit there and read some emails and stuff like that. All of a sudden, it's like 6 o'clock, and I should actually be like leaving at 6.30. I do have a buffer. I try for 6.30, but... Um, if I'm leaving at 6.35 or 6.40, I'm still okay to get to work because literally like 10 minutes away. But I do have to get in there and punch in, right? And you don't want to, I mean, who knows what the traffic is going to be like. Usually it's not so bad that early in the morning. Anyway, so so now it is 6 o'clock or 5 after and I got to get in the shower, okay? So I get in the shower. It usually takes me 10 or 15 minutes in the shower. And I got to dry off and I got to put my lotion on. And then I have to wash my face and then, um, you know, put on all my makeup. Now, I still have to like Gucci out. Okay, so we have to like Gucci out. And Gucci here knows that I'm in a hurry, okay? That I've been spending way too long on my face, right? And five minutes, five minutes, really. Five, ten minutes on my face. And uh, she's like, ha, ah. I gotta let her out. Okay, I'm like, okay, Gucci, go out there and go potty. And she's just like sniffing every single blade of grass. In the winter, she's just like, I don't want to go out there. It's cold. It's cold. I don't want to go in the snow or whatever. But in the summer, she's like, I'm going to sniff every blade of grass. And you know what? She knows when I'm in a hurry. And she knows that I'm getting frustrated. And she goes slower. And what I've learned early on is you don't say, hurry up, Gucci. Because then she turns around and stands there and stares at you for five minutes, giving you the evil eye. Yep, yep, Gucci will give me the evil eye. <laughs> Some morning she's pretty good and she just goes out there and does her business because she's in a hurry for me to leave because I give her two treat balls in the morning when I leave. So she's, after she's done doing her business, she comes back in and she's all ready for me to leave. She's like, get out of the house right now, mother. Now, if I'm smart, I've already laid out my clothes for the night, you know, the night before and my lunch. Most mornings, not smart. <laughs> but anyways, so um, I just thought I would show you how I do my makeup. Um. I don't know if you'll be interested, but whatever. Don't worry. I'm not quitting mail art, and I'm never going to do another makeup tutorial, and you'll know why after this. So let's get started. Oh, <laughs> I have to tell you. So I was doing this eye on camera, what I thought was recording, and it wasn't. So then I was trying to get the makeup off so I could redo it, and then I poked myself in the eye. <laughs> I was trying to get it off. So then I come back and my eyes all red. So hopefully you're going to have fun with this video. <laughs> okay. So, um, while I'm getting, when I'm getting ready after my shower, <laughs> um, I'll wash my face. So lately I've been using this redness solutions, um, cleanser. I don't know. I had this patch of red on my cheek for several months and I don't know why because there was nothing wrong with my skin. My skin was perfect. It was, you know, um, soft and smooth and it wasn't dry or anything weird or scaly. It was just red and it was just like one cheek. So, um, so I've been using this and that actually helped with it. So I was really impressed, but it's a really good cleanser. I really like this one. It's nice and um, mild. I like, I love it. Um, in the summer, sometimes what I had been using was the oily skin formula. <laughs> 
soap, but I kind of don't need to dry out my skin anymore, so I don't use this like hardly ever. And um, I've gotten this little sample of um, Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser Mousse. Oh, this makes your face feel so good and moisturized. I completely love it. And then my friend, I mean, this one's a little bit, I don't know how much it is, but it's a little bit more expensive than the um, liquid um, facial soap. So I went ahead and I bought the liquid facial soap in Extra Mild because they said that was comparable to this. And my friend said she always uses the liquid facial soap. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll try it, you know, whatever. <laughs> they were on sale anyway, so... Anyway, so this is what I start out the day with, one of these nice soaps. <clears throat> then I use the Clarifying Lotion 3, which everyone is like totally shocked that I'm using the number 3, but I've never had any problems with it. So they're like, oh, well, okay, go ahead and keep using it. I guess this is for a combination oily skin, um, but it hasn't been drying me out or anything like that. So I've been just using the number 3. Okay, now we're getting into it. So um, I always use the moisturizing gel. I love the gel. It's very lightweight, so your face doesn't feel heavy, like you got a ton of junk on it, <laughs> um, which you'll see in a minute what I actually put on my face. Um, so I love this. I use the gel. Um, I love it much better than the lotion. When this came out, this is awesome. So I use this because that's you know, like your three-step, your soap, your clarifying lotion, and then this gel. Now it gets crazy. So <laughs> now they have this hydrating moisture surged supercharged concentrate. So I use a little bit of this. Ooh, that's yucky looking. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so I use this and then I put on the moisture surge extended thirst relief. They keep trying to get me to buy the new 70 four hour one, but I still have probably like, I don't know, it's probably like a good six months worth um, in here. So I'm going to be good with that for a while. Oh, and I did have the Redness um, Solutions Cream, which I did use um, when I was having that issue with my cheek. And this is really nice too. Now, if I decide I want to use a primer, um, Clinique has a, has a primer, and it's super primer. <laughs> um, and basically, I think it's just like probably that super surge stuff. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I have this um, custom repair eye treatment for under my eyes. All of this, um, this I got free. So now that we got all the face stuff out of the way, I will sometimes, I've been using this, um, I've been using this a lot lately and I get to get this free. It's a foundation and concealer. I already have all that other stuff on my face. So this is basically about the amount, maybe even less than that of all that stuff that I use. Um, so a little bit kind of goes a long way. So this is the primer. Okay, so I just started using um, this as a primer for my eyeshadow. I don't use it underneath my eyes. Um, to take out the dark circles. I don't do that because it ends up looking really bad. <laughs> um, it just, it makes me look all dry and um, the skin kind of cracked and yeah, it's just not a really good look. So I keep it all above here and if I get really messy, then I get it in the corner of my eyes and then I have instant, you know, like eye highlighter. And yeah, probably you guys use makeup brushes or whatever for this stuff. I don't. <laughs> This is what I do. So I put a little bit in there in the corner, make it look all highlighted. Okay, got that. The next thing I use is my NYX um, eyeliner in brown. Actually, I really like this one and I've tried a ton of expensive ones. This one um, it's got stuff all over it. But anyway, um, this one actually stays on my eyes a lot better than anything I've used before. 
Okay, so I don't get horrified about how I put this on. So I go ahead and I put it on the water line. And then I put it real close to the eye lashes up here under kind of not quite under the lid, but right there. And I've been doing that forever. <laughs> so um I just poked myself in the eye. So now it's red. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's how I do that. Um, I It's not that I don't want to put it on top. It's just I never get it thin enough. It gets crooked. And you know what? I got like five minutes to do my makeup in the morning. Five. That is all. And I'm getting warm now because of the lights and everything. So now I'm turning red. Huh. Wonderful. It's going to be a great makeup tutorial, people. <laughs> okay, so next I use my eyeshadow. And I open it with my tweezers because I certainly don't want to break my nails. <laughs> um, so this is the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Eyeshadow Palette. It's the only one that I have bought in so many years, like ever, um, because I always get free ones with the um, with Clinique bonus days. So, but this, I was lusting, lusting after the big chocolate chip palette because it smells like chocolate. It's so awesome, but I didn't want to spend 50 bucks. And then they came out with chocolate chip, and chocolate chip was $26. And I use it just about every day, and I've had it for, ooh, I want to say it's like two years. I think one. It might be a whole year. Just maybe one year. Um, so obviously these are my two favorites right here. So I'm going to use this and then I use this in the crease or this in the crease. I've used these two together and that one. For some reason that one didn't blend real well. So today I'm going to use these two. I am just using this makeup brush, um, this eyeshadow brush, which is from, what is it from? Oh, Mary Kay, and it is the only brush out of that entire set that was any good. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, what do you call it? It doesn't shed. All, all the, the whole set, the whole brush set was crap. Total crap. I use Real Techniques, and I'm just using this until um, I'm waiting for a sale or some coupons or something like that to get the whole Real Techniques um, eyeshadow brush set. So I'm really kind of excited about doing that soon. Okay, so I'm just going to use the flat part of the brush. Like that. And then... I just put that on the top of my lid. And I do that to both eyes. You know, my allergies are all so awful. Um, so my eyes are watering. This is like insane for me to even be doing this at this time of year. Then I take... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be horrified. Um, I take the edge of the brush and uh, I just kind of dip it in the, the crease part. And then I just kind of put it on like this. I'm going to rub it in there. And then I put some in the corner. Obviously, this is a lot easier to do in front of my bathroom mirror. Of the viewfinder on my camera. That's exactly what I do. outside the lines just wipe it off because I have enough cream on my face <laughs> nothing's gonna really stick too well so then um so then I use the fluffy part and I just dip it back in the first color yep just a two color person and I put it up under my brow here I just like to keep my eyes pretty natural looking yeah okay that's that I think. Hard. 
to tell. There we go. All right. So I've been trying different eyebrow products because I was not used to doing anything with my eyebrows and my eyebrows have just, they're so light. They're like, you don't even see them. So then I found this in the shade blonde. I got, I think I had a, um, like a sample and this was really light. And so it, it made the transition a little bit better for me. But then I heard that they weren't going to use this anymore. Um, basically one side is what I colored in my eyebrows with. And the other side is a highlight, which I never really used. It's kind of shimmery. So, um, but then recently I just got this. And this is a brow shaper. And charcoal, and this matches my hair color exactly. So I have moved to this. And right now I'm just using the little brush that comes with it. Okay, so I usually start out with this one because this one has like a lot of nice, <laughs> nice shape and um, the hair, um, I, I don't pluck, I don't pluck my eyebrows because they're so thin, um, so light, you don't even see them. So I just color in the part that I really want to show up. And so this one's got, you know, it's got nice, nice eyebrow hairs. <laughs> so usually I just um, start by, I'm just coloring in. The hair that's already there and then I'll do the same thing here but this one is like a little bit more sparse than the hair department right here So then I usually just try to get it to somewhat match the other one. You realize I only have five minutes, you know, because <laughs> I was in bed too long. That's why the other, um, that little, that pencil thing worked like, it was a little bit easier to work with. But I kind of really like the, the color of this one. Basically, that's it. This side looks a little darker, probably because of the light is not even on both sides. See? And then if I think it looks too dark or whatever, I can just go in with one of these little things and then just brush it. It softens it up a little bit. Okay. Next, for my eyelashes, I always use this Lash Building Primer. I completely love it. And trust me, um, you know, like they did a makeover, whatever, and they put it on. And I love this Chubby Lash. So even though I do get, like, samples of um, mascara, I just always use Chubby Lash. Um, but I did buy Chubby Lash without this, and there is a huge difference. Um, but right now, I can't use the Lash Building Primer because I think I, like, slept too many nights with my mascara on and I think it kind of maybe crumpled off some of my eyelashes or something like that because yeah it's just not not working real well um well, we could try it though let's try it today I'll let you guys in because I really like it but um one my right eye the lashes seem longer than my left eye now so I don't know okay So I just kind of put this on. I usually, you know, got like the, these eyelashes right here. I usually like to get them really, really long and then just go in with the other ones. And um, this is white, but it doesn't seem hard to cover up. And if I'm in a hurry, I just skip this step. So, which is like most days I'm in a hurry, but I do like that. So 
I try to use it anyway. And here's the tubby lash. And I do usually try to put it on, you know, one eye at a time like I just did. Um, because I think when the other stuff dries up too much, it's harder for the mascara to stick to it. On the primer. Oh, eyelash primer. But I love the eyelash primer. There we go. See, this little guy's just... I don't know what's wrong with him. Grow. He's actually kind of grown out quite a bit. There. That's about it. So, there are my eyes. <laughs> All done. All right, now uh, just to do my the rest of my face. So for the rest of my face, um, this is a, a foundation that I just got. I really like the one that they had where you put the drops in the, um, in your, um, what do you call it, your cream your <laughs> and you're with your gel I really liked that um, because it just gives it a really a lighter feel and you're not using as much product so I just do that with this one I kind of like this even flow one there was a or this even better glow one there's another even better better one that I tried and I didn't like it um, but this one this one seems to be really good um, however I don't use it a lot I hardly use it um, just because my skin is old and it doesn't really look good with a ton of layers of stuff on it so and then and then again the time um, but when I use it I use this now I had been blending this in with my fingers I did get one of these um, makeup brushes you know foundation brushes and I hated it I mean it took me like five years to do my makeup and this is the Mary Kay one which um, you know as far as this particular kind of brush this one wasn't bad um, however it just took forever and um, I guess nobody goes to these flat brushes anymore so <laughs> um, I decided to get a foundation brush and I went to Ulta this is the real techniques brush crush and I believe it's number 301 yep it's number 301 and I completely love it um, the thing that really got me was I went there and I was looking at this one and that really huge oval one because obviously bigger is going to be faster <laughs> um, and I've been looking at that oval one forever and then I saw this and then I went home and I watched a video and the first video I watched was this and she's like who the heck likes those little brushes not me <laughs> um so that's what really sold me on this one it was like swipe 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 and your um, makeup is done um I, I typically don't care if it's pretty or not but whatever and I believe this is an Ulta exclusive you might be able to find them on eBay but I don't know um but anyways I love I love this and then so like I said I don't often wear you know this stuff but I always wear this um Too Faced um cocoa powder foundation I started um actually when I started really um back into a foundation I wasn't really wearing anything on my face um, I saw a video on I think this and another video for bare minerals and the foundation powder powder was amazing and I'm like oh I kind of like that idea it's really quick and fast and I use a real techniques brush that I saw on uh, Nilly pod she had this brush and I'm like what brush is that I love it it's huge <laughs> and it is soft and it is this makes my face feel good in the morning and my cocoa powder smells like chocolate so I'm really happy in the morning <laughs> and then as far as blush again you gotta get the tweezers to open this um this is what I use I use whatever I get free I have not ever bought blush blush is blush whatever it all looks fine on me and I've got this um real techniques blush brush which I completely love till 
let's put some blush on. Okay, so first I'm just going to go in with my powder. I'm just keeping it really simple. I know it doesn't, you know, hide a ton of blemishes or whatever. You know, it doesn't hide all of those imperfections. But, you know, it gives myself a nice glow. There. And then go in with the blush. And I don't use contour. Just don't. <laughs> so... I just put this one on my cheeks. A little bit on my nose. And I'm good to go for the day. This is it. Oh, one more thing. Can't forget the lips. Okay, 99.9% .9 of the time I'll just throw these on. Um, this one is uh, Super Drop Balm Moisturizing Gloss. And I really, I like this one. It's in the color Raspberry. This is like super moisturizing. My lips were dry. I stick this on and it's like good to go. Now this one um, just has like a, well, it's like a hint of a darker color maybe. This is Yummy Berry and it actually has a nice flavor. And this is from Victoria's Secret. Um, so in my mostly in my videos, I'll just throw this on um, before the video. So, but this one is probably the one that I'm going to go to and wear all day long. Normally, I'm not a real big lipstick fan um, because I like sh I like the sheerness of the gloss. But I have purchased some of this and I think these two I got for free. And these are the, the Plump and Shines. And I do like using, this is, um, this is the Clinique. Come on, focus. Lip, lip pop shadow, and um, it's it's a matte. So usually I put like a plump and shine over it or something. Um, I do like a couple of these colors. This one's a little dark. I'm still not sold on it. I might be returning that one because it makes my lips look pretty dark. This one is a color um, cloth that I wear a lot. And then I've got another one that's pretty much of a like a nudie color that I like. And then I I just put like any one of these things, you know, over it, like shimmery gloss or whatever. And to get this one. This one was kind of fun. I don't know. Anyways, I just don't wear this stuff too much. So I don't like this will probably be the purchase for the rest of my life. <laughs> I mean, we'll never purchase any more of this type of stuff. Um, I really like that, though. Because I usually wear this when I'm making a video, this is the one that I am going to put on right now. Because I'm going to um, film... Oh, great. <laughs> because I'm going to film the intro with a full face of makeup, so you don't have to look at me. And this is sticky and whatever, and and I just got all over my face. Wonderful. Almost forgot the end of the night routine. So the end of the night, I use this Take Off the Day um, cleansing balm, and I love this. This is amazing, and I'll probably have it for the rest of my life because there's a heck of a lot in there. Um, I did get this at Ulta because, oh, I think you could use reward points on it. So I did get this at Ulta. Um, so I use this and then all of the, um, you know, the soap and uh, the three-step. And then I also um, just recently got this for free. Yeah, a full size free. I've been getting a lot of this kind of stuff from Macy's. They send me, I'm like, obviously a VIP. And to tell you the truth, I usually only buy my stuff, you know, a couple times a year when they have that, um, you know, the gift with purchase stuff. So this is like in between that. They're like, oh, you know, come in and we'll give you this stuff. I think you did have to make a purchase. So I think I, you know, like maybe ran out of something and purchased like more soap or whatever. But anyways, um, or I did, I know I got a bunch of stuff for free when I did a couple of makeovers. Um, they came over and they did my makeover and then they gave me some huge stuff for free. So this is one of them. And I love this uh, Moisture Surge Night Mask. So I'll usually put this on too. 
Okay, that's it. Um, well, if you lasted this long, thank you for watching the video. Um, yeah, I hope you like it, but I don't really plan on you liking this video. Um, but you, you could just give me a thumbs up anyway. Like, hey, Patty. <laughs> great not idea to do the video like this I don't know um anyways um if you're not one of my subscribers I hope this does not scare you away from being one of my subscribers if you are one of my subscribers this is more than likely the only makeup tutorial that I will ever do so do not get worried I'm going right back to nail polish <laughs> um anyways thanks for watching bye for now